Hello, hope this video finds you well. This evening we're going to look at Max N3 from Array 1, and this is the Java solution. All right, um, given an array of ints length 3, figure out which is larger, the first or the last element in the array, and set all the other elements to be that value. Return the changed array. Okay, so with this problem, I'm going to do this a couple ways. And first, let's make sure we understand the problem. So we see that in this case, the first element's 1, the last element's 3. So we return an array with 3, 3, 3. Here, first element's 11, last element's 9. We get 11, 11, 11. Here, first element's 2, last element's 3, and we get 3, 3, 3. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what's larger, the first or last value. And I'm going to do this initially using um, an if statement. So we're going to say int largest is nums at zero. So we're going to make the assumption, we're going to assume first element is largest. And then I'm going to put an if statement. I'm going to say if nums at two is actually greater than nums at zero, only then am I going to say largest is equal to nums at two. And now what I can do is I can do, therefore I can say nums at zero is equal to largest nums at 1 is equal to largest, nums at 2 is equal to largest. And we hit go. And of course I missed the semicolon. Too much Python programming. Oh, I'm sloppy tonight. I didn't even return that. Return, there we go. Forgot to return at the bottom. I'm not going to re-record this. There it is. All right. Now, this is perfectly fine, but again, one of the things I do when I'm working with students that are learning to program is I talk a lot about what are called reference variables. And this is something that's a little bit more advanced, but I, at this stage, I just say, I really want you to always be aware whether or not you change a parameter. So in this case, the parameter is an array of ints, and I've modified that array of ints. That has some repercussions. So I always like to say, keep an eye out for when you're doing that, because that's going to be important later. Um, and so another way to kind of wrap this up is what you could do instead is you could make a new int array, nums1, and we're just going to say largest, largest, largest. Again, for what we're doing, it doesn't matter. But as you progress and you start to do more programming, you're going you're gonna to learn a little bit about reference variables and understand that if you manipulate an array that's been passed in as a parameter, those changes are permanent. And so right now, I just want you to identify whether or not you're doing that. Okay, let's just do a couple other ways we could clean this up. First thing, kind of be aware of is that we have a single line with this if statement, so I don't need the braces. That works fine. And the other thing is, this is a great opportunity to use, this is a great opportunity to take advantage of the max function. So I could say largest is equal to math.max, and I'm going to say nums at zero, nums at one, sorry, nums at two, what am I saying? And then, Oh, I have to go in largest, pardon me. There we go. And there it goes. Um, this is a really important idea to kind of think about. So what's happening is we are running the max function that takes two parameters. So in this case, it takes two integers, and it returns the larger of the two. Now, what I, with young programmers as the beginning, I always say this to them is, we are invoking the max function, which is in the math class. Because, because we are invoking max function, with the name of the class, max is a static function. Now again, what that means right now isn't a big deal, but I'm a big believer of using proper language when you're first learning how to program, um, because that language becomes really important as you go forward and you're trying to break down and understand code. I hope this helped. Have a wonderful night. Oh, did I hit go? Yeah, there we go. Have a good night.